Okay, okay. here we go. Here we go. So, hello everybody. My hello. name is Julia and this is Michal. <laughs> so, here Hi. you are in the series of motivational and inspirational um, interviews. And uh, the idea of the series came uh, from my personal experience when um, I worked in the, in the system and the metrics and all I wanted is to be myself, to go in the place where I do things, I create things for the world, but I'm happy inside. And um, going through this process um, uh, was a very long story, it's a long story, and a lot of things happened. But on this way I started finding and meeting people that are exactly like me. And then further on, uh, when I found my place, I started receiving questions from people. How did you do it? And um, I realized that the, the place is the place of sharing. So here we are sharing our stories and I'm inviting people like me to come and show themselves and uh, to empower uh, me because first of all, it's all about me, self and uh, share it with you. So I'm very, very, very happy to meet Michal. Okay. First of all, uh, when I worked in the newspaper, yes. I met Michal and I interviewed her and, uh, and uh, took a photo of her because she's doing amazing projects. <laughs> and um, let's start uh, from your personal story. Like, where did it start and where did it take you the road to self? Road to self started very early in my life. As a child, when I got bored in school. <laughs> Even at the, the stage of kindergarten, I was kind of already more attracted to go out there, explore nature, in nature. All right? And I did. And the grown ups didn't like it, but the kids understood me and <laughs> some of them and I never stopped being a kid in this sense I'm explorative, curious, never taking anything like this is what we got, that's it, what can we do? No, we can do a lot and everything is an endless potential that can be brought down to earth and change my lives your life, your lives. One person can change a lot. But somehow you ended up being an officer in the army. Oh yeah, well I, in the beginning I resisted it, serious. I grew up in a very military home and I was always sad for that. I'm Israeli. Because I, I, I realized people are, I didn't know what death means, but I, the energy around, the vibration around the word shook me. I felt, I felt deep down, dark sensations around it and there were many wars I was in and when I grew up and I have to go to the army as a woman in Israel because that's the law. Someone decided every youngster, male or female, goes to the army. So I, I resisted, I was a pacifist but just when I was about to be you know, taken into the army and I was saying, oh, please, please give me a delay, another delay, the war of October started and many of my friends died. Some of them became crippled in a terrible, terrible way. And we women found ourselves in a place where the feeling was soon there will be no place for us to live safely. Soon we will lose our families. And I come from a family with very deep roots in Israel. I'm like the eighth or ninth generation here. And my father was always talking about we have people who stayed here since 2000 years ago. Some of our family are still here. And I thought, gosh, you know, I do want a place to be in, but in peace. And, and, and the women understood we have to go and to do, try to do something. So I went to the army and they thought I was good, but I, I was different in the army. I was an outsider, I was drawing and painting all the time 
and I became uh, the walls and the bases there. Uh, no, but I was sticking my huge drawings on the on the walls, and I discovered through my paintings that many people around me, the girls in the girls' room, um, were like uh, really like individuals like me who had to be in the army because nobody wants to go to jail because you are not becoming a soldier. And I thought it's important to keep still, because of the circumstances on this planet still, that it is still important for the Jewish nation to have a place for their own. And I'm part of this nation, but I feel so much part of the global nation. So I actually I feel a part of the galactic nation. <laughs> so you did this you did this army thing, yeah? I and did then the army the thing and they wanted me to go on. I became an officer. They thought I was good. But I discovered corruption, heavy corruption, millions. And I was punished for discovering it. But I still was in the army. So I completed my service, but I decided I'm never gonna shut up. I'm never gonna shut up. I spoke up in the army like a 19 years old girl. And this is my character, this is me, this is, I'm honest and I want to live in a honest world. Many people didn't like it, many people still don't like it. When I tell honest things about corruption, I sometimes get my internet site wrecked, now it's wrecked, by a hacker. Wow. Twice I had my Facebook shut down but I wrote honest letters to the heads of Facebook and they believed me because I tell the truth and I have my Facebook thank God thank people thank Facebook working <laughs> so <laughs> I came out of the army straight to the Academy of Art and I began expressing but I realized there is politics also in the art world I couldn't fit in wholly fully and freely I had to leak Buttons, <laughs> we say. You That's know. how they say in Hebrew. Yeah. <laughs> it's first question. I had to mingle, and I like mingling. I love people so much, and I love to have fun, and I love to dance, and I love to joke, and I love to laugh, and uh, I, basically, I just love life. And uh, the thing is, I, I see too many sad faces around us. So what if we have wars? We can do what we do at the same time that bombs are falling in a different way. So I chose, when I was second year in Bezalel Academy, the art institute that I was going to, I heard a lecture from a lecturer who came from California. This was in the 70s, 70s. <laughs> and, and she said, this is the new hype. And I, I, I heard them, I, I became like this, I want that. Because I was exploring how to go deeper and farther into the endless potentials of the DNA and brain to make my creativity even bigger. The name of this course was Psychodynamics, Psychodynamics of Creativity and it was like, it took me, I fell in love. And she said, honey, you'll have to travel because your country is so way back. <laughs> Third world. I did, yeah, sort of. And uh, I did complete my studies because I wanted to, I enjoyed, I love learning very much and I love to grow also and learn more, but I've also learned history of art and so it's history of the world that you understand so much how art can affect social, political uh, processes in society. It's always been like that, always. always so been I like decided that. before before I, went, when, before I went to the army, when I was in the army I wrote in my diary, you know diary from 14 years old, I was writing one. I wrote, hello, hello, big people of the world. I am the clown. <laughs> I am your clown. I will be laughing and laughing and looking at the wide picture forever. So when I finished, completed my BA, when I finished my BA, I uh, decided to go on studying elsewhere outside of Israel and look for that thing which was called rebirthing, like being reborn. And uh, of course, lo and behold, I, I was in England and this is where I met my first rebirther. And after the first session, I realized this is really what I'm looking for. I continued with my art because it brought happiness and, you know, gave food for thought, for 
people, I was exhibiting here, performing there, it was performance art time, conceptual art time, and I lived with companies of theater and uh, painters and musicians in England. At the same time I was learning reversing and I began changing very deeply. It changes you from the atom level, even inside, I do believe so. After experiencing it, beyond the brain, it was beyond any logic what happened there. I loved it. So, I want to bring things to the present. Reversing, I'm, I've been doing it from 1979, now it's 2016. When, when you say doing it, you mean you're practicing. teaching and practicing, practicing and spreading the world and yeah. bringing, the, bringing the system into Israel? I brought it together with a friend, not alone. I always look for other people, but I felt very alone for a long while. Because there, was nothing, because there was nothing here and you nobody and everybody thought I went crazy because I was a successful student in Betzalel, I was, uh, I got, you know... Betzalel is the, is the biggest, academy. biggest art academy in the country. Very respected, very, the highest, and uh, it's well known, and I came out of there as an excellent student, you know, I have this excellency yeah, yeah. paper for me, excellent, but I think in the academic side, and in the army I was a good officer, and everybody thought I went crazy. My mom said, you can be a teacher. So what was, like, what was that energy, that motivational wave that made you uh, invest your energy and your attention into this thing that nobody knows rather than hang out with artists and musicians and being famous and beautiful and gorgeous as you are? What, what was that? What, what, is this, what is this thing that it's is... Yearning. Yearning for simplicity. Yearning for simplicity and peace and love really sounds very hippie but so it's, I'm very grounded at the same time I can give you a, a, a real uh, proof that I'm very grounded. Yeah, yeah. Michal is also uh, doing a lot of uh, social work here Ecological in Ecological social. She's uh, struggling for parks in Tel Aviv when they want to build another houses and Michal is uh, that's that's how I met her we were doing article about it um, and thanks to her, this beautiful this park, park exists. exists. And maybe this you want to show grow. the. Maybe yeah, you want yeah, to show yeah. some we pictures. We will do it. We, we maybe take photos and then insert Please. them. Yeah. So this it's tree huge. is huge. I beautiful. love it. That's why we're here. And I managed to cancel fourteen one four. 14 buildings uh, like skyscrapers that were meant to be here with uh, parking lots and I said I, in the beginning I was alone with one friend and she left for politics then I was really alone and everybody said lunatic stupid so foolish. what is this earning what the yearning is, this yearning is I said there is no justice here I'm looking for simplicity truth and beauty but so Which is many people based on love. So many people are looking for it, but so little people are doing it. What what you think is a part of your personality that really makes you different from not just thinking or being theoretical? It makes me very happy. But when I'm acting, when I'm being this, I feel so happy. So you feel happy when you go to the office and start uh, screaming and shouting with other people? Which office? Uh, where you fight and where you bring the papers well, and when you cancel the buildings. I feel happy because my, I, I, I'm, I feel whole. I, I am, look the sun is on me now. Yeah. <laughs> I feel connected to the light inside, which shows me the way my conscience, my conscience is free. I am free of any feeling that I didn't take, do my share to not only take care of me of my baby, this part I started when I came to live here from New York after living there for a few years and before that living in England, in London for a few years and I and I looked around and I thought nothing is green here, it's all grey. They are selling everything, including public areas. 
They are turning it into private money and they don't leave us, the people who are not tycoons, a, a silent piece of nature, pearl of beauty to relax in. And Tel Aviv is known, it's amazing. Tel Aviv is fantastic. I'll never leave this city. But I'm saying that you have to balance. So I started and I am leading an organization called Green Not Cement and it gave birth to, an or, to an, an or, another organization which I'm, I'm part of both. It's no, there is no, it's all, no problem. The, the lawyer told us it's no problem. <laughs> so the, ad, the, the, the new one is Green Big and Cement to make balance because we have architects and people like that. help and it's all voluntary everything this whole part 23 years I was fighting for it writing for it right making shows making puppets I have a puppet of a tree I have a puppet of children crying over a dead tree you know <laughs> I have many puppets made of garbage and I I was speaking about uh, the quality of the environment in the years I'm talking about 35 years ago more that when I came back to Israel, people told me these are problems only of rich people. I say no. Everybody is breathing. It's, these are problems of people, of animals, of our brothers, the plants, of the standing people, the trees, of Mother Earth. <laughs> these are problems of the sky because we are polluting. I, I have a baby. I want her to live a good life. I don't want. I don't want this place to be so so poisoned that my children and my grandchildren and my grand grandchildren will suffer you know I'm listening to you now and uh, it's so logical and it's so natural what you're saying uh, but again I want to return and um, just from my observations so many people think that way but so they don't little, move so little people are doing what is your motivation? No. What is your personal advice for those who are watching and uh, might be inspired by your energy? Energy. What stamina? What can you, yeah. What can you give and share I this, can. this this uniqueness of yours? Yeah. So that we can move and we for. can create these things too. All right. So yeah, what I can give anybody anywhere on this planet, wherever is just choose one step, one first step that you feel you can manage doing. One little thing, go knock on your neighbor's door or start a conversation in the grocery shop, in the supermarket. And this is how I started. I, went, I, I, I came to someone in the shop and I said, excuse me, are you living in this neighborhood? And she says, or he says yes. And I said, you know, doesn't it bother you that we don't have any, any garden in this neighborhood? It's a beautiful, very expensive area, you know, but we have no garden. It's a teeny tiny little piece of nothing down there. Why don't we have something near her? And she said, you know what, you're right. I said, there's nowhere good to go with the babies. People say, you're right. Old people, no place for you to sit down and just relax instead of sitting on the pavement, on a bench, watching cars. Beep, 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 beep. Israel, you know? Israel. And people, yeah, and people say to me, you're right. And they, they said, but what can we do? And I said, let's think together, you know, let's get some people together. So I talked and, and I said, which street do you live in? And she would say, Melchit. And I'd say, okay, you are, you're going to be the focus, the leader for Melchit Street. You talk to the grocery, and, you know, or you go into the... So you started organizing like, groups what, within your neighborhood. Was, Exactly, with every street I found someone from different streets and I found people who are professional in their, you know, professional in like uh, graphic design, in photography, in uh, public relations, who know journalists, who know the media. I talked to people at the same time that I was organizer different, different uh, little organizations for each street and this was voluntary after work, in the evening, in the afternoon. I, um, I was doing the rebirthing and I was empowering people through the rebirthing. Actually, that's my next question. How did you uh, organically combine 
what you're doing outside in your pub in public activity and your inner work? My inner work is, I, I believe material and, and, and uh, spirit are one. So if, if, if there is, if many there, years ago in the, in the uh, government, no, municipality, and if some people in the government didn't know what's rebirthing, now they know. Because they because ask me, you. yeah, they ask me, and some are coming, and people from different places are coming, places which are like, well, I can't talk. <laughs> But everybody from any kind of uh, work is coming because rebirthing is a tool of inner power, inner courage, inner um, commitment, making your commitment, commitment clearer. I'm a laser beam. I choose a, I choose a target and aim and I aim there and I don't stop and breath gives me the power breath strengthens what I ask of me to strengthen so when I want to strengthen me because I am like everybody else I can get a heart attack when they get me crazy the politicians really especially when I'm with them you know having these conversations and can draw me mad so I have learned how to smile and it is not a hypocritic smile, it's a real smile. When they get angry with me, I tell them, please take a breath. Don't you care for your health? Please, we want to do something nice together. I know we will do it. And slowly, Changing slowly. the attitude. Changing the attitude when you bring clarity, strength, and gentleness. And your personal example. And caring. So, so what happens example? is that I, I combine the world. Breath gives me a lot of uh, stamina, a lot of power. Look, if you don't breathe, you die, right? If you breathe little, you, you're a, li a little dead, right? So breathe better <laughs> and you get more power. And if you practice it, breath will guide you into places where you don't know that exists in you and that exists in, in other parts of you because we are not only flesh and bones. We are also finer bodies of energy and we can give that extra strength too and if we get hurt if our genes the genes in the cells are, are carrying any disease that we got from our ancestors we maybe not 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 uh, win but who cares as long as we've strengthened the other parts some people in my family told me that the women are normally dying at 50 in, 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 in one part of my family. And I said, okay, we'll see. And now I'm 61. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. <laughs> well, I, I'm, ready, I'm ready to go on and I'm breathing. So I don't say I'm perfectly so healthy, but I'm, we're working, yeah, breathing on, creating such places. Just being here makes me happy. You hear the birds? I love them so much. Oh my God, they're preparing for the night. And we're sitting here at the pond with the golden, the golden fish. fish and, 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 and yeah, and we have water lilies and we used to have lotuses. Maybe they bloom again soon. And we have wild birds are coming here to get fish for dinner. And we are having bees that are talked about like being going to be extinct and then the world dies. But we put here plants for the bees to come. I told you, we are not here for only for us because reversing doesn't end in the end of our nose or mouth or lips. Breathing is breathing life into everything. So you are a living being, living phenomena, radiating honesty. I hope. <laughs> so Simplicity. this whole thing, so this whole thing, is basically coming from the breath and yeah, thoughts I was, and idea. Yeah, you know, I came here with that friend Gila. Her name is was Gila, is still Gila Hertz, and she said to me, "Hey, Michal, what do you think?" I said, "Wow, this is going to be the park and the community center and the community swimming pool." And they, the, the, the elderly people, you know, uh, the elders' uh, home, and the kindergartens, and, 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 and. By now, 
center of Tel Aviv, people of planet Earth. We got only park. We don't yet have a community center. Uh, we got loads of promises. No community center, no swimming pool, no uh, elders' home, no kindergartens, not enough. Not enough. And they're promising and promising. And I've been an activist for 30 years and I don't stop. We continue. See this building? And then one next to it, I want it. I freed it. I canceled the, the program for 14 buildings, including those areas over there. So this whole thing you are basically doing in your free time? Yeah. Or it's your life path? I don't have free time. Or... I do what I like. What do you mean free time? How, how does your day look like? I'm free. You are free. <laughs> you are free. I, I'm doing what I really believe in. So for living you do rebirthing? Reversing. And then the rest of your time you... I'm rather busy with the, the neighborhood, but thank God in the new organization, which is uh, uh, legally also, uh, it's, an, it's a legal entity, we can sue if we need to. Mm, well, we don't like it, but we, if we need to sue, we will sue. And this is why we raise monies and we, none of us gets a penny, a cent, a shekel, nothing. You're getting well, we, we coll I'm collecting from uh, me and other neighbors and citizens are collecting from the neighborhood. When we need to go to court or to bring a, a specialist for, uh, say, for problems of um, transportation, for problems of air pollution, with noise also, with the new projects, for problems of, uh, you name it, you know, you have problems in your neighborhood, tell them, tell them to your neighbors, say, let's do it together, breathe. Meditate, relax while you're focusing on the vision of see in your here and inside, third eye. See your vision. I saw that. Wow. Yes. I have a question. Yes. If you would get one extra hour a day, yes. what would you do? I will go to the sea and I go under the water and look at the sweet fishes. We have wonderful fish in the Sea of Tel Aviv, you don't believe. I go with scuba, you know, no, not scuba, uh, uh, snorkel. snorkel, I snorkel, and oh wow, I would go to the sea. <laughs> and the last question, what is uh, true happiness for you? What is joy? When I'm what eating is? from, you know, here I have a, 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 how do you call it, we have a, a, a community garden and we are growing organic food. So when I'm eating the in organic the center of food, Aviv. Yeah, yes, it's yes. growing here. Yeah. Yes. Wow, you gotta show it to me. Right I'm now. gonna show it to you. Can welcome oh. to eat, and you're welcome to take home. <laughs> so what's your? This is a dream come true. You see, here was parking lots, and they, how do you call it? Uh, garbage, garbage, you know, uh, piles, and 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 oh, and and one family that was not supposed to be here, but they they had. Never mind. I don't want to talk about it. So anyway, there were things here, and we had to take to tell the police to go away from here and to tell the army go away from here and to tell uh, the municipality you cannot tell us we do not deserve a garden because you owe us 200 dunams. We got letters from inside the, uh, uh, <laughs> you know, from inside. From so, inside, people helped us with, you know, without a name, like uh, putting it, I don't know when, in my, in my post box and I could read the, the papers that were running inside the system and analyze it with architects and lawyers and my friends, of course. And now we're a few people running together. So it's so much easier. Maybe I'll go more to the sea. <laughs> if you have one extra hour. I will also work here. I come here almost every day. When I'm in Tel Aviv, I'm working in a little the flower bed and the cucumbers and... and, and uh, so <laughs> what would be your... Um your last inspirational, uh, um, yeah, the, the word for, for those who get your crazy energy <laughs> and your crazy energy for life and this, and really this power that I'm feeling from you right now. Hagelot. What? Hagelot. Kiss a lot. Breathe better. Uh, do what you like. Make a list of what makes you feel happy, of pleasures. And every day check this list in the end of the day, how many pleasures have I given myself today? <laughs> wow. And how Thank many you. people? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and Thank go you. for your dreams. Don't give up.
Thank you so Write much. Write to me. Call me. <laughs> Call me. I'm available on the phone. <laughs> well, you have a website that we can sure. Put? Oh, my website is wrecked by oh, Facebook. Yeah. I have Facebook. So we'll leave it somewhere in, English, in the comments. In English, it's a uh, yeah. We will leave it. Yeah. Michael Barzel, Barzel Cohen. Cohen. No, but you have to put the letters. In. We will do. So, but I have also the professional, which gives inspiration. I'm writing articles for inspiration in Hebrew, but you can take a program that will translate. Rebirthing, Michael Barzel Cohen, because rebirthing. It's for us to reverse in with every new inhale, for you to reverse. Be reborn with any aspect of your life because life, well, I don't know. I'm willing to live forever because I'm so curious. But if, if you think life is limited, just do what you really love and what you believe in. Don't compromise so much. That's it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> thank you for asking me, you know, thank you. Thank you, Tommy, you, you remembered. <laughs> bye bye! Bye bye, have a great life! Love. Bye bye! Wow, we are gonna go for you! Like that, like that, it's a bad thing to go to the people. Ah! Like that, I'm...